I know when I was young, they were always talking about uh, a bigger band office, expanding a band office. So that's been around probably since either the late 70s or early 80s. Former Chief Gary Potts, um, he'd already, you know, been on that and um, the need for a new band office, a new community center, and um, he did uh, actually uh, do some, some of the process. But it's been in that 20-year capital plan uh, since I was on council in the mid-80s. I believe that was probably around uh, 2006 when they first started designing, uh, coming with designs. There's a design here was probably uh, um, similar to what, what's here, but uh, there was nothing on paper. It was just like a, an idea to get a larger building and it, that combines the community hall with it. This was a, one of the biggest challenges I've ever had in a construction project. Typically, my experience has always been I arrived to a job where funding's in place, design's completed, and I'm only the contractor or part of the contracting crew who's there to carry out the project. So this one required um, backing it up. I worked with her to get uh, back to the funders to, uh, to make sure that uh, it was okay that we made the building smaller, that it would still be adequate and it would still house everything that needed to be in it. And so we did that, and um, I would say that uh, the building itself <clears throat> was, uh, we brought on uh, the architects, the architects, uh, amazing, amazing uh, winter meetings with them and sorted through a lot of things. So it was, a lot, it was uh, how do you say that? Uh, it, was a, it was a stressful time, but it was also a fun time because when you seen the architects work, it was amazing. A lot of the design characteristics, a lot of the multi-functions of the space, that was developed through community consultation. So one of the first things I had done was um, we had some WebEx, the WebEx recorded the community meetings going back to, I think it was 2014 or 2015. And I spent a few days and I watched those community meetings, I heard the comments, made some notes, and then, you know, had that in the background. Then we had community consultations um, with the new architects. Um, you know, you, uh, I was drawing on staff to know, you know, like if you had a perfect opportunity, what would you like, what would you know? And then presented them with the floor plan, presented that to the community, found out what they liked, what they didn't like, presented it to staff. So I feel like the design, um, as much as I was the lead, I took my cues from both the community and staff. And that's how we got to the, um, to the building here today. This, uh, this building is very important for the First Nation, especially in terms of economics. I mean, the build itself was, uh, was uh, very important. It put a lot of people to work. It brought a lot of money to circulate through the community. And then there were secondary and tertiary uh, spin-offs from that. Uh, people needed accommodations while they were working here. Building supplies were needed. Uh, the, the economy really started to get into a buzz once this project was started. But the, the benefit um, to the community, you know, all the, the, the trades that were being done and the skills that uh, some of the workers got through this kind of project. Uh, that, that's a big benefit. Holy jeez, yeah. So there'll be plenty of space to hold all the Christmas turkeys and anything yeah, yeah. else that's needed yeah. in there. Yeah. So, um, what's the possibilities of hanging a moose? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, in here, that's our walk-in fridge. This one here. No hooks to hang moose? No. <laughs> uh, you know, we had to have community Christmas dinner um, a week or 10 days before the concert because we only had the one gymnasium. Uh, so it was kind of like, and then the kitchen wasn't very um, caterer friendly for 
turkey dinner of that magnitude? <laughs> uh, I worked in lots of different kitchens, so it's been a struggle when you're in a small one. It's been great when you're in a big one that's fully equipped. I know just moving back and ca doing catering out of my home is a struggle. I can't absolutely wait to have a new kitchen to work in because it's, it's just, it's crazy. There's no room and it'll be so much nicer to have multiple ovens, a dish area, just everything about it. You know, our caterers did pretty good with uh, the spaces. We made do with what we got, and that's what we tend to do around here, make do with what we got. And I think uh, this is a very positive step towards the future. But I think at the end of the day, the biggest benefit is going to be a new hall, because the new hall is so much larger than our previous hall. And um, I think uh, it can be used for a wide variety of things. We have like a kitchen right there too also. So I think that's going to help with the kitchen like state of the art so it's, it's gonna be an amazing place to gather you know there's nothing too nice for these the people that are here for you know all of our members all of our uh, members on and off uh, there's 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 nothing they endured a lot um, you know over the say over time over the last years and we don't plan on shrinking we plan on growing so uh, they deserve this they deserve this place and a whole lot more as well so we've always had this um, ability to repurpose things to meet our needs so I, I think that that's something in our history that we should be proud of as well even though now we have this grand facility I really hope that people will embrace it and say we do deserve this too for our community and for our children and I think that um, we deserve to have nice things. Um, we have taken uh, the back road you know for a long time and um, where we repurposed leftover things but I think our people deserve new things and deserve to come to a beautiful building such as this. Um, to meet and greet and celebrate.